Konnichiwa, Japan fans. Today's show, we're going to talk about documentation. Za eigyo desu. Sore dewa ikimashou. So let's get going. This is the fifth year of the Sales Japan series podcast broadcasting around the world from the Beverly Hills of Japan, Minatoku, here in downtown Tokyo. It is Chic Central. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, committed to your success, the president of Dale Carnegie Training Tokyo, Japan, and the three time best selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery. Japan Presentations Mastery, and now my new book in Japanese, Za Eigyo, is available on Amazon. In this podcast, I want to help you to survive COVID 19. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn, who, unlike many, Other podcast hosts have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on iTunes. Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Tuesdays, the Presentation Japan series. Every second Tuesday, the Business Touches in No Oshie Show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan series. And every second Thursday, the Business Pro Podcast Show. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. Now, this is episode number 294, 294. Today, we're talking about how good are your supporting documents to drive the sale? Japan just devours data, statistics, and information. When you visit some scenic spot, there will be an amazing level of data available about that venue. The announcement on the subway train when you arrive at your stop will warn you that there is a specific gap in so many centimeters between the platform and the train, so be careful. I first discovered this data addiction when I was a student here, well, some 40 years ago. I attended a scholarly conference on Sino Japanese relations, as that was my area of speciality. Trying to combine my Chinese and Japanese skills to access original source documents for my research. A Japanese professor was making a point in his lecture about the differences between China and Japan, and he used a story about the introduction of Zen into Japan. Zen originated in India and then came to Japan via China. So various Zen monks from Japan would make the perilous journey to China to study there. There was a Zen story involving a well. And a bucket to make some esoteric point about the condition of humanity. In the Chinese version, the concentration was on the broader allegorical point. The Japanese version had that too, but went into supreme finite detail about the dimension of the well, its construction, how the rope and bucket were made, etc. This love of detail and data still permeates. In、business today as well. Because there is that distinct fear of making a mistake. One of the clear antidotes in Japan is to amass masses of data so that you can analyze everything before you take any decisions. We have the same thing in the West and we characterize it as paralysis by analysis. When we turn up to sell our widget, we had better come packing data, lots of data. This Is a slippery slope, though. The temptation is to wade straight into the detail, the facts, the stats, the data. This is certainly what the buyer wants, but we have to temper that data obsession. The data doesn't sell anything. We know we buy benefits. We buy the application of the benefits. We buy results. And the data is just a detail to explain how we can provide the required benefits. We should certainly lug around 
a lot of information to the sales meeting, but we shouldn't show it. My recommendation is to have the product catalog, the flyers, etc., at the ready, but either leave them in your bag or place them on the seat next to you, well out of sight. If you put them on the table, the magnetic attraction will be just too great, and the buyer will want you to start wading through the minutia. Find out more. We come back from the break. Our show today is brought to you by our public programs, but we also do custom-made in-house classes. Now, we do them in our super safe classroom, we do them live online, and we do them in Japanese, and we do them in English. Our show today is being brought to you by, on the 24th of June, we're doing our previews, and on the 25th, we're doing the Dale County course. That's a flagship course, so get out of your comfort zone. Get your leadership happening, get your communication happening, deal with your stress, get your people skills happening. Fantastic program for all of those things. On the 12th of July, we'll be doing more previews, and on the 23rd of July, we're doing another in our series on our professional ongoing education. Check out our website, www.dale.carnegie.co.jp. Goodbye, best-selling books, Japan Sales Mastery, that's the Bible for selling in Japan, and Japan Business Mastery, and my new book, Japan Presentations Mastery, and they're all available on Amazon. If you like learning by watching videos, then we have over 1,000 there for you at Tokyo Japan Dale Carnegie TV on YouTube. We release three TV shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, that's the premier business show in Japan, comes out Mondays. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show, and Sundays, Japan's top business interviews, where I interview leaders in Japan from SMEs all the way up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Now, every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro TV Show. And don't forget, you can email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com Welcome back. The point is to know which part of that thick, bulging catalogue you should go to or which flyer you need to bring forth. We need to find out what they need first before we have any idea if we actually have what they need. If we do, then we need to dole out the information sparingly in the meeting. We only have limited buyer time, so that part should be concentrated on digging deep into how we can add value for them such that they don't do it themselves or do it with our competitor. The other part of this equation is, do we have the information needed at two levels? very high level, and into the morass level. Our flyers should have a structural split between the key points and the nitty-gritty details. We should avoid the deep, detailed dive at this point, but assure the buyer we have it, and they can pass the entrails later by themselves. If we don't get to the benefits part, then this won't become a purchase decision. It may not happen in the one meeting. Often, we'll go away and put together a proposal. One key thing is to get the appointment for that discussion during that first meeting. Everyone is so busy. And you don't want to be ghosted when you are trying to get things moving to the concrete stage. Set the day and time right there and lock them in. When we're going through the flyer or the catalogue, don't just hand over the details and let them read it by themselves. We must control what they are looking at and we decide what that will be. Turn the document around to face them. Using your pen, draw their attention to the parts of the catalogue or the flyer which you want them to look at. If it is an online meeting, then share the screen. 
Use the annotation tool to draw lines on the document on screen, directing their attention to the key bits you need them to know. There is an ocean of information in our materials, and we need to be very time efficient as to which parts we highlight. Naturally, the materials must be set out professionally and must be clear in the presentation of data information, such that it is easy for you to find and also easy to show to the buyer. If we need to leave supplementary materials with them, then certainly do that, but don't concentrate there. Rather, focus on the areas where the sales decision is most likely to be made. Your supporting materials should be just that, supports, not the dominant element in the sale. You are the key part of the sale, and let's make sure we keep the attention there. Thank you for joining the Sales Japan Series. If you found the program useful, please work on your karma and share it with your family, friends, and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast immediately. Apply what you've learned today. Use it and go out there and survive. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guy in your corner, committed to your success here in Nippon. Nippon.